Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number BB5064-450 ETW06-652. This is a electric transfer hinge, is what it is, in short. <laughs> short. Uh, no pun intended. Um, so let's dissect the part number. Uh, the BB stands for ball bearing, okay, versus, well, there are several different variants, but the, this part number means, BB means ball bearing. The five stands for five knuckle. The zero means that it's a full mortise hinge. You can see from the swag on the hinge leaves there that they're meant to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and frame when the leaves are brought parallel. The six means that it is an electric transfer hinge. We'll get more about that in a moment. Then the four means that this is two things. It means that it is a steel-based hinge and heavy weight. The thickness of that leaf is 180 thousandths. Uh, the four five zero stands for the fact that this is a four and a half inch by four and a half inch hinge and the height is always the first dimension on hinges like that. Be very careful to just simply understand that when you call it four and a half by four, it's four and a half tall, four and a half wide. Uh, but sure, I understand it doesn't matter the hinge is square, but if you have a five by four and a half, it's not four and a half by five, it's five by four and a half. So the height is important to know that that's the first dimension. The ETW, that's real easy. That's gonna stand for electric transfer. The six means that this is a six wire hinge. There are literally three pair of hinges, uh, hinges. There are three pair of wires on the back of each end uh, of each leaf. The dash 652 means two things. It means again, it's steel based and that it is in a satin chrome finish. Now, because this is a heavyweight hinge, the four in the part number stand, uh, means that you'll have four ball bearing packets on this sort of hinge. Okay. Now, an electric transfer hinge, it's a very common piece of hardware that you're gonna use. Uh, six wires, a little bit less common, but very typical. You'll see, not that you'll see them in airports, but they're used in airport terminals because there's sometimes multiple things electrified happening on a single door. Uh, electric hinges, they're obviously gonna conduct current. They'll do so regardless of the door position, so you're always gonna have current going to the door. That can communicate with electric locks, exit devices, maybe hold open devices. It can also transmit signals from card or code readers on doors to remote stations. You might have a door position switch uh, would be very typical. You might be able, you might need to communicate in uh, airports very common. You might need to communicate the ability to remotely unlock a door, but also know the position of that door. So your door switch uh, will be, will, will need wires. Your exit device will need wires, uh, that sort of thing, uh, it, it, which is just a, a scenario of why you would need more than, uh, two wires, although four wire is the minimum wire that's uh, made in an electric hinge. Bomber can manufacture this hinge uh, up to 12 wires uh, if you've got so much uh, sort of information that is required on an opening. There is a link below this video, to a couple of links. There is, first of all, there's a template, and the template is, up, it's called cut sheet, but it's more of a dimensional drawing that shows the position of where the conduit stud is going to need to be drilled in the edge of the door or in the hinge plate of the door and then the plate for the frame the exact location of that and the diameter so if you're having door hollow metal doors that say manufactured or wood door whatever the case might be you would forward that cut sheet to the door manufacturer so they know where to prep that hole create a raceway whatever needs to happen uh, on the door and the frame for that matter these are non they're considered non-load bearing hinges. So you will uh, not count on them uh, being appropriate to carry a heavy weight or calculating its ability to carry a heavy weight sort of uh, door because of the preparation that's been done to it with basically drilling a hole through the hinge leaf. Okay, These are to be used in the center hinge only 
or if it's an eight foot door or taller, you know, typically I would see it in the third hinge from the top, but there's no hard and fast rule about that. That's where I would end up putting it. Specifically about this hinge, intended for indoor use only, and doors requiring low voltage current. They are non-load bearing and to be used in the center location only. This is a six wire sort of hinge. 28 gauge is the gauge of the wires and that's very important and let's talk more about that. being a piece of electrified equipment you're going to have a rating on the wires each wire is rated for 50 volts AC or DC at three and a half amps max in a continuous sort of installation so keep that very much in mind and that's you know you're running an exit device it would not if it was a continuous duty electric strike let's say certainly would not uh, exceed three and a half amps but the data is there in that in a the second PDF below this video uh, called installation instructions for you to review again 28 gauge is the wire uh, very important to note that the installation of a mortar guard is mandatory to have the warranty from bomber uh, be in effect a mortar guard is a piece of steel that gets welded over the back of the hinge on the inside of the frame uh, to prevent any sort of well mortar quite frankly or any sort of part of the wall or anchoring system something from getting making uh, unintentional contact with the back of the hinge or the uh, lead going to where the wires are so you want to be sure that you've got a mortar guard installed and probably specify that if you're having doors and frames manufactured that uh, link to the installation instructions is a two-page document the front shows uh, not only the electrical ratings that I've referred to but up to a 12 wire sort of hinge so that you can see what the uh, colors are of the wires and how they're set up and what it will look like if you get all the way out to a 12 wire hinge. The back side of the uh, the second page, I should say, are the door and frame preparation, then the installation instructions. Very simple and straightforward. Attach wires in accordance with the project wiring diagrams. Open door to 90 degrees or more for access to the jam prep. Extract interior wiring through the prep holes from the door and frame. Terminate wire connections with appropriate crimp splicers or wire nuts. Do not hang hinges by the wires during the installation. Be very careful. These are obviously very thin wires. Insulate all ends of, unfin of unused wires. That's very crucial. And everything is to be terminated properly. Uh, so 50 volts, 3.5 amps continuous, 16 amp uh, in a sort of uh, pulse. Listed for security equipment. Tested to UL specification is listed below. Uh, UL cycle tested to 350,000 cycles. Uh, that's important to know as well. Bomber has specifically tested the endurance of this hinge to one and a half million cycles which is well beyond grade one requirements. The name Bomber is synonymous with all things hinge related. There's a link below this video to the manufacturers page and from there you can pull up their product catalog and that's a very handy document because of not only listing everything that a catalog would certainly list, they list the matrix by which hinges like this, the part numbers, are actually created. So it's very handy to see what options are available using that one page sort of view and how to change the part number. For instance, uh, if you wanted this to be a three knuckle hinge, you would substitute the five for an eight. So it would be an 8064. So it's a handy document to be able to determine what you ultimately will need if you're not sure for architects, specifiers, really anybody, or someone like me who, you know, me who, you know, can't retain a, a million different part numbers. Uh, the last thing I'd like to bring to your attention about this hinge is the Bomber logo, and right above it it says "Made in USA." The fact that Bomber is quite proud of as am I to represent them. If you have any questions on the Bomber, BB5064-450 ETW6 and a 652 finish or any other bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.